Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, October the 5th. Pleasure to have you with us today. And um, if, if you're uh, you're listening to us on the radio, you can't see that we have a brand new set. But if you watch us on television or on the YouTube, uh, the, the vodcast, you'll see we got new digs here. It looks very nice uh, from the Reynolds Journalism Institute. And I want to say thanks to Travis McMillan for doing such a, a wonderful job on this. This is the same studio that uh, Views of the News comes from. And when they do global journalists, too. All right. So thanks, Travis. Now, um, Ann Bickle is here. And Ann Bickle, uh, you come on about once a year on Radio Friends. You are with Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. And October is a special month for you, right? It is. It is our Residence Rights Month. And that's when we honor all of our seniors and disabled adults who are in long-term care or who are receiving care at home or in the community at um, different uh, residential homes. Now, it's important if uh, folks are in long-term care to for relatives and friends to make sure that they're getting the proper care that they need. What was it? Back in March, Um, almost all visiting was cut off from relatives. This has been an awful year. 2020 has been an awful year for everyone, but it's been particularly awful for our residents and our families and our long-term care facilities and their staff because back in March, um, visitation was just stopped because of the COVID-19. It, um, they had to stop visitation so the virus would not be brought in. And um, at first, no one realized how long the visitations would be stopped. And there, we watched in horror as the, uh, East Coast and the West Coast, uh, as people died, right. just in huge numbers. And um, how did people? How did the folks who who are in long term care? How did most of these people relate to not being able to see their their son or their daughter or their husband or their wife or their loved ones? It. Many of them really lost ground, lost cognitive ability. And um, as I don't think anyone realized how long this would go on. Mm-hmm. We've had short-term uh, visitation cut off, like in the flu season. Uh, we've not been able to come in because of the flu. Right. And that, but this kept going on. And... So we, as it went on, we kept, we began to get calls from family members and from the press saying, is this, what can we do about this? Well, it was easy for us to support this, this shutting off of visitation because we could see what was happening in, on the East Coast and West Coast. But how were you then checking on quality care? How were you verifying that people that are in these long-term situations are getting the care that they need? Well, that was hard. I mean... So how did you do it? We couldn't. I mean, that was very hard. Uh, About in April, family and the facilities were kind of becoming creative about visits. They were doing window visits. Right. They would go, the family would go to the window and uh, 
the residents would go to the window or they would do iPad uh, visits. Didn't and they also do some drive-bys where... They, they began to do some parades and where they would bring the residents out. That was a little bit later after, after May 3rd when our uh, state stay-at-home order uh, expired. Then they could do some parades and bring okay. the residents out. What do you say to people right now when they're trying to figure out what's the route to take here? What's the best thing that I can do for someone that I love that's in a nursing home or long-term care facility? The, that's tough, isn't it? It is tough. It is very tough. Although, uh, last week, the Department of Health and Senior Services issued a memorandum that will be on our website, and I'll at the end, I'm going to give our website. Well, we're almost at the end, so go okay. ahead and give the website. Uh, the website is www.mc qc.com okay www.mcqc.com Missouri yes. Coalition for Quality Care and you'll find all the information that you need on that website yes and we're going to put up this memo from the Department of Health and Senior Services where uh, the outside health care uh, People can come in and, like hospice, uh, the ombudsman program, mm -hmm. and essential care uh, people can come in. And people who can provide um, uh, activities of daily living, like people who can help feed, help bathe. And that's going to open up a little bit of... At people to see their loved ones. But can family members, are family members allowed to go in now? Uh, they, there is the possibility, yes, that this memo is going to open that up a little bit. But still, at this point, family members cannot go. No. How long, you have a mother who has Alzheimer's. Yes, I do. I have not seen my mother except in the parade since February. And that's got to be hard. It is very hard. Does mother realize what's no, happening? No, my she mother has no uh, cognitive ability at all. My mother does not know she has not seen me. That makes it a little easier, right. except for me. Right, I understand. We're out of time, but again, um, Ann Bickle is with the Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. Let's put up the uh, uh, website, if you want to write it down, once again, is www.mcqc.com. And it will have all the information that you need uh, to find out what you can do and how you can help and how you can make sure that your loved one is being cared for properly. And thank you so much for coming by. Thank right. you for and letting me come each year. You're welcome. And if something you'd like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Just drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. And when you go out today, wear that mask. All right, and smile behind the mask. Bye-bye.